All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Harbakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. And uh, I just got to the, to the beginning of the Elder Manatha Zagba's video, and the spirit just jumped right on me. All right. Um, I just actually uploaded a lesson going into how Jake want to walk some other way. All right. Now, I'm going behind this scripture right here. Okay. As I was going into in uh, the latter lesson, how, you know, Jake want to come up some other way. Okay. Jake don't want to walk in the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Jake don't want to trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Jake want to do their own thing. Okay. Jake want to be carnal and they want to follow their own path. Okay. Uh, I got the book of Isaiah 30, verse 20. It says, And though the Lord give you the, the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And who are the teachers? Who are the true teachers? Who are the true leaders? The prophets, man. Okay? The servants, the prophets. But people look up to this guy, Derek Grace, as what? As their leader, as their teacher, okay? Which he is. He is their carnal leader and teacher. And we are their, we are Israel's spiritual leaders and teachers, right? Now, there's nothing wrong with, you know, uh, possessing firearms, okay? Or, you know, uh, if you may collect them or you might like to go to, go to the gun range, or you just have them, okay, for a defense purpose, right? But for us, us and his truth, if brothers do have them, we already know that what? Our defense is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? And uh, also, as King David said in the book of Psalms, I believe the brother brought that out as well. Um... In the book of Psalms, it, talk, it speaks of what? Not trusting in thy bow. Okay? So you're not supposed to trust in man. You're not supposed to trust in your weapon. Right? And you see a lot of Jake on this tip. Okay? On this tip of carnality. Right? On this tip of, you know, we got weapons and this is what we're going to trust in. Okay? Um, Can I find it? Oh, this is the book of, I believe it's Psalms. Oh, I believe it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Salakia. Well, I can't find it, but I know the scripture of King David goes into uh, of him not trusting in, in his bow. Okay. Let me see if the elder got it on the screen. Oh, yep. Psalms 44, verse 6. And it reads, it says, what's that? <clears throat> Salaki, it's the book of Psalms 44, verse 6. It says, for I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. Okay, so it don't matter how many weapons that this dude got or other people have, right? None of those things are going to save you. All right, none of them. But see, this is what a lot of Jake trust in. They trust in their weapon. See, but little do they know that the Lord is going to destroy them by the, their own devices that they trust in. You see? Now, I want to get Isaiah 30, verse 20. It says, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eye shall see thy teachers. And who are the true teachers? The servants of the Lord, the prophets. Okay, we are the true teachers. We are the true leaders. Right? We are. But people look up to men like him, right? And also others as their leaders, as their teachers. In a sense, which they are, right? They're the leaders and the teachers of the two-thirds. Okay? And we are the leaders and the teachers of what? The spiritual Israelites. Because he's an Israelite as well. That's why I called him a two-third Israelite. Not saying that 
he won't repent or anything like that. If he do, that's beautiful. But at the moment, as you can see, he's a two-third. Okay? He he he's a two-third, man. For what he was about to come out of his mouth when I played a clip, okay? And how he uh you know how he conducts himself. Right? Verse 21, it says, In thy in thine air shall hear work a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When ye when ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. Right? So this is what we tell our people. This is the truth, man. Right? When we're crying out loud, sparing not, lifting up their voice like a trumpet, and showing our people their transgression in the house of Jacob, uh, their sins, right? We're telling them the truth. Okay? That's the Lord stretching out his arm to our people. Through who? Through his men and the Lord, the servants, the prophets. Right? But see, our people said I not the counsel of the Lord. But see, they take up counsel by individuals like this. You see? Um, and I also brought it out in my last lesson, but guess what? I'll bring it out again in this lesson. You know? Because that's, that's what the Spirit is leading me to. You know? <clears throat> it's the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms 127 verse 1 it says except the Lord build the house they labor in vain that build it I'll read it again except the Lord build the house they labor in vain that build it except the Lord keep the city the watchman waketh but in vain so people will consider him a leader a teacher a protector a watchman for the nation because of the particular thing he things he does and what he goes into you know but really, this dude is leading our people down a path of destruction, right? Along with himself and his family, right? So what house is this individual building? He is building a, a house, a, a carnal house, okay? He's not building a spiritual house. Therefore, his house will not stand. You see? All these people that's likened unto him, right? All these people are what? They are built, built in a spiritual, I mean, they are built in Salakia. They are built in a carnal house, which is being built in vain. Okay, because why? Those houses will not stand. You see? So all this laboring that they're doing, right? All these different uh, uh, guns. Right, all this different training and prepping that this this individual is doing, and that that he's showing people and the farming and things like that, because the, the dude, right, the investing, the, the dude is on top of his game in this world. Don't get don't get me wrong, but none of those things are not going to matter very soon, right? And see, he's one of those jakes to believe. Let's take up arms, let's build black wealth, let's do this, let's do that. And we'll be straight. Okay? This is the way how we save ourselves. But little do Jake know. Little do Jake know. They gonna need a... That they... That we... I ain't gonna just say they. That we need a higher, higher power to step in. Right? We need a higher power to step in. Of what's about to come down upon us, man. What's about to come upon the world. What's gonna come... To, down upon us via Jacob's trouble. And it's going to be so bad. And, I, and I'm going to play a clip after this. And my phone was about to die. So Lord willing, I can get through it all. Through the, Lord willing. Right? Check out what the book of Daniel said. Right? This is how bad it's going to be. It's the book of Daniel 12 verse. 1. And it reads. And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, which stand up for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a never since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered 
everyone that should be found written in the book. So it's going to be so bad when Michael, the archangel, arch archangel, is going to have to stand up for us, man. That's how bad it's going to be, man. You see? But Jake, Jake think they got it figured out. Jake think they got it figured out. But you know what? Hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. And guess what? What this, this, this individual is about to say, right? He's going to have to eat every single word of it. So Lord willing, hope this quick lesson was edifying. Let's continue and play the clip. Shalom. Let's get into it. Go. What do men do? Preach, provide, and protect. Preach how? Lead and guide the families. Don't depend on the system for knowledge. Provide how? Invest in their families. Create jobs to keep their money at their table. Protect how? Train for mental, physical, and financial. All right, can Jesus, a fucking president, or even me save you? No, I have to save myself. Absolutely. What are four things that every family should have in 2020? Guns, gold, land, and self-love. Got you. What is the Second Amendment? When you can have a firearm and nobody tell you that you can't have it at all. What is the Fourth Amendment? No unreasonable searches and seizures. All right, and if they get a search warrant, they need to have what? A probable cause. All right, if we ever have to shoot someone, do we shoot to kill or we shoot to wound? We shoot to kill. Let me ask you a personal question, daughter. In this family, do we bitch about and complain about a world that we already know is fucked up? No, we study the wolves and we get our shit together and we beat them at their own game. All right, Derrick, grab that AR. As soon as your hand starts, you got five seconds to break it down. Five. Four, three, two, one, zero. And if I die today, what's your job? To pick up where you left off and take care of my siblings. All right, I just want to do a little response here to the video you just saw that's circulating among the brotherhood, right? It was rather a really disgusting video. All right, so Elder Manapta Sagba from South Carolina, the beloved brother, is about to go in on this video. So tune into that brother's video. Hey, and it's a, hey, and it's a funny thing through the, through the spirit. It's about time that brothers is now getting on this dude's, uh, uh, getting on this dude. You know what I'm saying? Because this dude been, uh, he been having this little platform for a very long time. But guess what? Now the spirit of the Lord is zeroing in on his ass, man. Right? So people are going to see that. Him and maybe his followers, followers, and at the end of the day, his followers may run into this video and that they may repent, which that would be a beautiful thing. Okay? But hey, this is gonna be a spiritual tag zone. It's the scoffers and mockers are gonna come out and say something, and guess and and and, and you know uh certain individuals that the Lord wants to repent, that they're gonna repent and turn to Yahweh Shemel Shai, man, and leave off from all that folly and madness like that individual does. Okay, so, uh, you know, Lord willing, I hope this quick lesson was edifying. So next time I want to say shalom.